So tell me what is probate and how can people, why do people have to go through it and how can people avoid it? Yeah. So probate, I think the simplest definition is it's the judicial process to change title of an asset out of the name of the deceased. So for example, there's a house you want to buy, but the owner is dead. So who has the authority to sell that? So probate solves that problem. Well, doesn't a will solve that problem? Uh, a will says where it goes. A will says who has the authority, but it, you can't take a will to the title company and, and sell the house you know, through the will. Title's gonna wanna see that you are actually appointed by the court and that you have the authority. So essentially going through probate, for people who don't know this, going through probate is the process in which a family member that might have been put in the will, a family member, let's say mom and dad die, right? And you've got five or six siblings and there's no trust involved at all. There's just mom and dad and maybe a will. And that will says my house should go to my children. Okay, great. That doesn't mean the children automatically have the right to, to make the decision on that until the court appoints them to actually have the uh, ability to make that decision. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Yeah. So if there is a will that says where it goes, but it doesn't actually transfer it. So a lot of times people will they'll say, yeah, I got the house from my parents. They don't do anything. And then 20 years later, they, they want to sell it. Mm hmm. And title company saying, wait a minute, they're, you know, it's in the name of this other person. Love it. Go, okay. Oh yeah, cool. we never changed it. We, you know, we had the will. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. So I'd say title, you know, the reason I started networking uh, with this real estate group, you know, you, you invited me to a, a meetup years ago, but um, you know, a lot of times title does uh, discover opportunities where they need a probate. So when you guys how, are how would house, how would title actually figure that out? So when they they do a deed search, they pull up they're going to pull up and see who the owner is. So okay. if they see the last deed is uh, someone who died twenty years ago, that's going to be a problem. They're going to say, "Who's this person?" Right, and w is there a piece of paper that I get? Like if I go through, uh, let's say that my parents pass away, there's a will that says the house goes to me there's no trust or anything. So obviously I have to go through probate, which means I can either a choose to do that paperwork myself. And I've seen people like clients of ours, try and go do self performing paperwork at the stinking court. Oh my gosh, it turns in this big old bloody nightmare or B what most people do is they go hire a probate attorney to actually take them through that process and handle that. So, uh, we'll go through what that process looks like. I'm sure people are always going to, people ask this question all the time. I bet you this is top five questions you have, which is how long does a probate typically take? How long do you get that question all the time? Yeah.